Welcome to this uh, shortwave radio channel and um, I just wanted to give a little example. Some people have been asking me um, how I actually use uh, the online SDR receivers and do I just you know tune a random receiver or I use a specific receiver for specific uh, broadcasts. So the thing that I do actually is uh, two things. If I just want to have you know fun tuning around, I'll go through uh, them one by one and check out you know their sensitivity and what they can receive. And uh, they're not all equal. Some are actually better than others, depending on the noise at the location where they are and so on. So of course, by doing this, well, you get your favorites. At some point, you understand that some specific ones in here are actually really nice, and you they become basically your favorites. And you know that if you want to listen to something in a lower noise environment, that's where you'll go. Of course, you'll also have with the uh, you know number of users because a lot of them actually are accepting only four users. Some are accepting eight users, uh, which limits, of course, the uh, possibility of using some of them sometimes. Um, <clears throat> if I don't just go like that, um, of course, I'll choose some of my favorites. For example, one I like a lot is the uh, SK3W Swedish one here which is pretty good a lot of them are actually quite good honestly but I will also choose them depending on what I'm listening to so if I go to the schedules and I see that for example at 2030 there's Radio Thailand here so let's just highlight it so you guys can see 2030 2045 Radio Thailand meant for Europe so of course uh, I, I will try it here but chances are I won't hear anything but I want to know if it is, you know, listenable down there in uh, uh, in Europe as they are broadcasting there. So at that time, I'll go to the SDR.hu and I will choose a European receiver. So, you know, for example, the first one, Italy, I'll choose that or I'll choose the one here in Sweden. Or as long as it's, you know, somewhere in Europe, I'll use one of those in Europe and see if I can hear 9920. So I will often use the uh, SDRs depending on where the um, broadcast goes to. Uh, so anywhere that I would see something. So for example here, uh, if I hear something uh, you know, that's for Africa or if I hear something that's for um, you know, Asia, Southeast Asia and so on, I will choose the receiver um, that is the closest to the target area. It's not always easy to actually pinpoint one that is really in the target area sometimes, but you can actually choose something that is close enough that even though maybe the signal will be a little weaker, it is going to be something you can listen to. So that's pretty much how I use the uh, SDRs on SDR.hu. Um, either I choose one at random, either I choose one that I like personally and tune around, or I will look at the schedules, see a broadcast that I can't hear, uh, so, for example, here, All India Radio local uh, could be on a local uh, station, or here it's to Oceania, so I might want to try it out and choose one uh, receiver in Australia, for example, and see if I can hear. Um, and, of course, sometimes, you know, even broadcasts, like, for example, All India Radio 9445 can make it to North America when propagation is good, but if I don't hear it, well, I might be uh, checking out if it is really broadcasting and choose a European receiver for this. So, you know, depending on what you want to listen to. For example, Ch China, or many of the broadcasts for China, uh, or for Asia, I will often use um, a receiver in Japan, for example. So, um, you can use a receiver in South Korea. So, you choose something that isn't too far from where you want to listen to in the target area. And, uh, you know, I just tune around and check if I can hear anything. And uh, that's pretty much my type of use for these receivers. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.